right, I'm gonna show you guys three cool effects that anyone can copy because they all use free plugins. I'll walk you through it and you can grab all the free plugins from the links in the description. Plus, you can bump up your skills if you check out my website. Let's jump into After Effects. I threw the scene together real quick and I'm gonna show you a few effects on it. First up, I'm in a diffusion. Hit Ctrl plus Alt plus Y to make a new adjustment layer and uh, slide this plugin on it. You can get the Wall Amino plugin pack from their site, the links down below. Now we have got some sweet distortions going on, mess with the settings and uh, see what they do. For now, let's hide them and that CC ball action, which I think is the most underrated default plugin in After Effects. Here are the settings. I'm using grid space in zero, displace properties, fair eyes, displace minus 40, shading minus 100 and both sides round 87. Since Amina mean, only has white and black right now, we'll crank the color count up to 6. It already looks pretty cool, but now we are gonna add the signal plugin. Okay, I gotta be honest, this one is not totally free. But I think you probably already got it, or you know how to get it for free. The main thing with this plugin is to go to experimental parameters and push Skyline's blur to zero, so you don't lose any quality, at least uh, not for this effect. Then just fool around with the settings to get it how you like. Here's my settings. To finish it off, add the Glow plugin. I'm using Deep Glow plus BCC Glow, and uh, here's what we got. Actually, wait, it can be even better. Just throw a threshold effect at the beginning of the chain and uh, set it around here. But it kinda depends on the shot, and uh, there is the result. I could have saved this effect for my series unique effects. You should check it out for ideas and to learn some stuff if you want. There are 5 parts already and uh, I'm working on the 6th. Next I'll show you how to make fake CRT effect. I also use Namina Diffusion. Again, make an adjustment layer and throw the plugin on it. We only need 2 colors and we'll set the settings like this. Then set the layers blending mode to multiply, make another adjustment layer and uh, add hue saturation to control the saturation. Then add some glow, you can use the default After Effects glow, but I'm gonna use my default deep glow plus BCC glow combo. You can also mess with the Amina settings to get something you like better. To add a little animation, go into debug and... Uh, damn it! It crashed. This happens a lot with Amina plugins, so save your projects before you start messing with them. I didn't, so I had to do it all again. To animate, just keyframe these sliders to some random values, but do it at your own risk, cause... Uh, fuck, it crashed again, damn! The next effect is any dither plugin. I'm using a red red but there are a bunch of similar ones out there. I like red red dither, cause you can get totally unique looks just by changing the palette, dithering type and scale. You can get this, or this, or this, or this, or even this, and those are just a few examples. And uh, it's all from one effect. You can also combine it with uh, other effects like mosaic for pixelization, to get the retro old game look, set the mosaic value above 400, so you can actually see something. And uh, there's our effect. Change the palette again for a completely different style. Just play around with it, basically. Check out my site, check out the Instagram, love your mom, and also try